The oldest known survivor of the Nazi Holocaust, Alice Herzoma, has died in London at the age of 110. She was originally from Prague and spent two years in a Nazi concentration camp in what is now the Czech Republic. Essel Carr looks back at her life. Alice Herzoma was a talented pianist when she and her son were sent from their home in Prague to Theresienstadt concentration camp in 1943. And it was music that she said saved her life in a place where tens of thousands of people met their deaths. As a pianist in the camp, she would perform concerts and said the joy of making music had helped keep her and others' spirits up. I knew that we will play. And I was thinking, when we can play, it can't be so terrible. Alice Herzommer and her son were freed from the camp in 1945, but despite losing her mother and husband in the Holocaust, she famously said she bore no grudges and saw her life as a wonderful gift, continuing to play the works of Schubert and Beethoven until her final days. A documentary film about her called The Lady in Number Six has been nominated for an award at the forthcoming Oscars, a celebration of a remarkable life described by her family as an inspiration. Music is in the first place of art. It brings us on an island with peace, beauty and love. Alice Hertzommer, who... Uh is the oldest known survivor of the Holocaust who's died in the London at the age of 110. Well, we're going to discuss her life now with the filmmaker Christopher Newpen, who was a close friend of Alice and made two award-winning films about her life. Thanks very much for being with us. Um, inspirational figure, obviously, and music so important to her life, wasn't it? I mean, she said, I'm Jewish, but Beethoven is my religion. Well, yes. Uh... She said many times that she had survived to 110 for two things. Because she was an optimist, whereas her twin sister was a pessimist. And so, of course, she died with 74. Because if you're a pessimist, the whole organism is in attention all the time. And because of music. She said music is the most beautiful thing coming from mankind. The life of a musician is a privilege because from the morning to the evening and the evening to the morning you are concerned with the most beautiful thing coming out of mankind. And do you and see those two things as interrelated in her? Because absolutely. as you say, an optimist, someone who bore no grudges, I mean, an amazing lesson for many people to learn about the way well, she came through such an awful experience. She had so many distinguishing characteristics. Her wisdom, her depth of perception, uh, her kindness her intelligence. But the most dramatic of all was this woman who saw her mother taken away with a rucksack on her back at the age of 76 to a concentration camp where they killed her and saw her husband taken away in a train to another concentration camp where they killed him. She had no hatred at all. She said, if you hate, you poison your own soul. Now, we think we all know that, but she lived it. It is the most astonishing creature, one of the most impressive uh, and lovable creatures the world has ever seen. It sounds crazy to use superlatives, but she was superlative. She really was. Mm. And uh, an inspiration for so many. Hundreds of thousands. She wrote a book when she was 104. Pe two people wrote it for her. Uh, and she made these, these two films, one at 98, the other at 106. And they've been all over the world. And they touch people because the prizes all got well, for Gigi. Uh, that's what she, she was called. Her name was Alice Sommer. But she was called Gigi from when she was five. Right. Nobody knows why. But she <laughs> loved the name. And it fitted her. Everybody loved her. Partly because Gigi is a nice, lovable thing to have. It's, it's just one of those things where everything combined to ha produce a happy result. She'll touch a lot of people, even more so with her passing. Thank you very much Thank for coming so in much. and talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. In Gigi's name. Yeah, absolutely. Thank Gigi. You.